Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mia Voss. I'm here with Steve Gallick, and we are going to be talking about Bardot, which is one of the newest restaurants that's going to be opening up in Low High Denver. I'm very excited. Tell us about it. Absolutely. So we're opening up next to Highland Tap and Burger on 32nd Avenue. Uh, our restaurant's going to be Italian-inspired cuisine, and we want to kind of maintain that neighborhood bar feel sure. and add some elevated cuisine, uh, possibly a little bit more polished service level uh, to create kind of a different atmosphere and different experience than Highland Tap, but still uh, that same level of comfort and same uh, kind of reliability. And here's what I'm loving about it. It's literally right next door to where Highland Tap opened, which is five years ago, which completely changed the neighborhood in Low High. Right. And since then, this whole neighborhood has blown up. So I can't wait to see what that's going to look like again. Very exciting. This sort of this elevated Italian, but right next to Highland Tap, and we can kind of pop back and forth to it as well. It's going to be great. That's kind of what we have imagined. We want people to be able to enjoy both uh, and enjoy both often. Excellent. And if you can't see what's going on back here, that is Chef Max. He is getting ready to cook up some things for us. So we thought we'd show him in action. So tell us a little bit about Chef and how you got him to come over on this. Stage. Absolutely. So uh, Juan and Katie Pedro, uh, owners of Highland Tap and Burger, right. they have wanted to do this project for quite some time. And I think through conversation with Max and knowing a little bit about his background and the things that he likes to cook and that he likes to eat, it seemed like it was gonna be a really good fit for them. Yes. And for myself personally, I've worked with Max um, on a variety of different projects in the past and can't wait to start this. Don't you guys love that? So they're bringing in like friends that they worked together before to create a whole new thing for Denver, which I love. All I can say is after we're gonna taste a few things here in a second, I'm going to need to wear my stretchy pants. I think so, yeah. It's uh, rich, you could definitely say. <laughs> the food will be rich, very flavorful. Yes. And uh, we also want to kind of incorporate some of that freshness into it. So it'll be, it'll be a good mix. This is Chef Max McKissick, and he is the mastermind behind Bardo. So tell me what you think about it. What are we going to be looking forward to? Um, you know, nothing too regionally specific as far as Italian food goes, but uh, definitely all Italian. Um, lots of handmade pastas, uh, pizza, wood-fired pizzas, um, just lots of fun small plates and salads and things like that. A lot okay. of shareables. Gotcha. Yeah, lots of salumi. Stretching pants is what I'm saying. I'm going to yes. be wearing there. Now, the crown jewel is the pizza oven. Talking about that, are you yeah. excited? Yeah, it's a Mario Acunto pizza oven. And, um, you know, they're handmade in Italy and they have they're like ul rated to a thousand degrees at three inches so that just tells you the crazy insulation that it has and it allows you to really retain the temperature that you're looking for which is a really you know a big part of cooking pizza sure and it's going to come out right which i know we're all fussy i call myself a pizza crust snob so i can't wait to mm -hmm. check it out so nice. we're going to go try out some little yummy edibles too so but i can't wait till the place opens yeah me too mm -hmm. okay let's go eat okay <laughs>